Hey everyone, uh, in this video, we're gonna give some exciting news about SCORE Art Glass and some things to come, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, this is Steve from SCORE Art Glass. That exciting news I talked about is that I am launching my website. You can, you can go to scoreartglass.com. On this site, you're gonna be able to discover, shop, and learn about stained glass and I'll have other art forms on there as well. We will be launching our Thanksgiving and Christmas items uh, on the site. Uh, this will happen in a couple of weeks. I will also be taking commissions up until December 1st uh, or until all the slots are filled in order for me to be able to get everything out in time for Christmas. Now for the other news. The next day. Hey everybody, this is Steve from Score Art Glass. As you can see, I've got a lot of projects going on. And uh, as I've been doing these projects, I've been thinking, hey, I've never done any real uh, videos that are in great detail of each step of the stained glass project. As I was thinking about that, I decided I'm gonna do a series of 10 videos going in, into much more detail in each step of a stained glass project from start to finish. Oh, really? Uh, in the first video, we're going to talk about pattern design and the different ways you can develop patterns or get patterns to uh, try out. And then the second video, we're going to talk about uh, transferring your design to your glass. And there's a couple of different methods you can use. Um, we're at least going to talk about three of them. And then... Uh, we're going to get into cutting the glass and the different uh, types of cuts that you'll have uh, when doing a stained glass project. And then we're going to get into grinding, uh, talk about the different bits that are on our grinder. We're going to talk about foiling um, and the different methods you can use in foiling, uh, one by hand, one by a foil machine. As you've seen in my videos, uh, I use a foil machine. Uh, and then we're going to talk about soldering um, and the different techniques and soldering to get that ideal, clean bead line uh, that everybody strives to get. Um, there's some different techniques. Um, I've tried a few of them. So we're gonna take a look at those. And then we're gonna talk about uh, overlays. There's been a couple of projects that I've done some overlays in. Um, and then also talk about embellishments. Now, I haven't done much embellishments on any of my projects, but I've seen some really cool uh, projects that have had embellishments done on them, different solder embellishments and things of that sort. It's been pretty cool. So I'm anxious to try some of those. So I'll bring you along in that journey. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about patinas, uh, the different patinas that you have to use, uh, different things you could do. Um, and then a lot of people get uh, nervous about how to, properly hang a stained glass, uh, either, you know, panel or a uh, sun catcher. Um, and we'll talk about the different uh, techniques to hanging uh, those type uh, items. And then uh, we'll get into frames and edging, and the different edgings you can do uh, with your stained glass projects. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, uh, ensure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell uh, so that way you get notified when I upload uh, new videos to the channel. Go ahead and leave comments down in the comment section of the videos uh, so I hear the feedback that you have and, and questions that you might have for those individual steps or, the, or something that you see me do in a video. And, and also put some ideas down there that you types of uh, videos you'd like to see. Uh, I've got all different projects to do, but uh, I'd like to hear some feedback or some uh, interact with uh, a lot of the people who watch the videos. With that, we'll see you on the next video.